<laughs> I know that you thought that it was okay to have sex with your relatives, but it really isn't. <laughs> now, um, I'm I'm going to want the AMT today and the tax preparers. Yes. And uh, for those in police and sheriff's departments, yes. Uh, the defrauder, the fraud feesor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You defraud me of my rights and you gave custody of my sons to my wife. Right. And you committed tax fraud. So uh, let's look at some degradation. Okay. <laughs> A reduction in rank, degree, or dignity, specifically a censure of the clergy member <laughs> by divesture of holy orders, <laughs> either by word or by a solemn divesture of robes and other insignias. <laughs> now, for those of you that are academics, they get to wear those robes in <laughs> religious institutions during uh, convocations. Yeah. <laughs> what would happen if you got fired? <laughs> <laughs> and took your robe away, <laughs> took all your ranks and degrees, and I censured you as clergy and as academics. <laughs> now, I know, a moral intellectual decadence or degeneration, the lessening of a person's oh, <laughs> or thing's character or quality, the degradation of resources. <laughs> as much as you thought it was so important. Well... <laughs> I'm thinking of disrobing a large number of academics and Christian institutions that have any knowledge of the fraud of having me put in jail for the crimes that I did not commit because of their refusal. Yes. To, uh, <coughs> well, you're going to lose your robes today, okay? Now, of all of those that are oaths, which of them get to wear robes? Ooh, there's uh, judges get to wear robes. Yeah. There's justices get to wear robes. Yes. There's academics that get to wear robes. Pooch. Now, I'm wanting to strip away all the robes. Academica. Well, listen, you dumb fuckers. Any knowledge of fraud, forgery, conflict of interest violates the employment contracts of each and every employee of all of those Christian institutions. <laughs> and for every one of them that thought it was so great getting a robe so they could stand there. I'm going to take your fucking robe. Do you understand right now? Now, a little degradation to those in Christianity would not hurt them at all. <laughs> not only do I get your assets, I get your robes. <laughs> now, I know. <laughs> You're working at one of these big name theological institutions and you thought, well, you're going to lose your robe today. Okay, okay. It's a, it's a divesture of the holy orders of those that are ordained <laughs> that thought that wearing the robe was so important to their denomination. <clears throat> Now, having grown up Lutheran, I do know of the robes of Lutheranism. Yes. Are there any Methodists that wear a robe when presenting themselves to the congregation? <laughs> How about the Presbyterians? <laughs> now, the Catholics. <laughs> do you wear a robe? Because I've never been to Mass before, and I talk to the Catholics about these problems. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Well, I feel like when... When the religion, yes, does not obligate law enforcement to, inf to enforce actual fraud and forgery laws, yes, parenting rights, <laughs> victims' rights and resources, yes, because you're just not going to pay, <laughs> I'm going to start stripping away all the robes of all of those that are legally, <laughs> well, you know, let's say you got removed from your actual <laughs> I know you thought that robe was important. Didn't you think it was important? <laughs> I think that it's <laughs> divesting of the holy orders. <laughs> well, I think that you're going to lose your robe. Now, to uh, censure a clergy member by divesture of holy orders, either by word or by solemn divesture of robes or other insignias. How many of those in Christianity mm -hmm, can legally wear the robe while meeting in a convocation <laughs> of those that address the student body? Yes, either in graduations, yes, speeches, or any of them right now. 
because I'm going to take your robes. <laughs> I will sue every institution of Listen, mm -hmm. I will strip Christianity of all their robes. Now, what individual in the Assembly of Gods, yes, thought that this was legal after having emailed them all those times about fraud and forgery? What individual at the head of each of the major denominations of Christianity think that it's okay to take a citizen's sons right now? Completely remove the robes. Well, that's what I'm going for. Now, maybe somebody in the Christianity wants to make a fucking phone call right now because I will take the robes. Mm -hmm. Now, I did spend ooch, maybe four to five years at Northwest University. Yes, both my academic degrees are from Northwest University. Yes, and the assembly gods of the United States of America and internationally <laughs> can all lose every fucking robe right now. Well, I sent 2,400,000 emails. I documented fraud and forgery. You arrested me multiple times for crimes I didn't commit. And then every day you sit there like you don't have to enforce the fucking law. Why don't you get me the AMT fruit of the employees of each and every denomination of the United States that issues ordination papers, uh -huh, licensing or credentialing, yes, of every dues-paying minister in the United States of America. <laughs> because I will argue, do you understand? I will remove every fucking... <laughs> I will divest you of all your credentials. You will not... <laughs> 